Welcome back to Cal's Chance Farming, and did you hear that? Today we're going to be talking about roosters. How do you keep your roosters gentle? The answer is actually a lot more simple than you might think. There's two parts to it. Number one, the breed of the rooster, and number two, how they were raised. This right here is Ronald. He's our one rooster that we have right now. We only keep one because they can sometimes start fighting and then that makes them more aggressive to humans. So we only like to keep one. So that's one, I guess, extra um, little snippet of information. But the first major part of this answer is what breed? Ronald right here is a buff Orpington. They're known for being gentle, kind of gentle giants. They're really big, but they're, you know, more friendly, um, less standoffish, and less skittish, so they're generally a good place to start when looking for a gentle rooster. So you might ask yourself, why do you even raise a rooster in the first place? Why do you have a rooster? Well, for us, we live in the country. Having a rooster really diminishes the amount of hens that we lose. If you live in the city, the suburbs, you just have a few hens, you don't need a rooster. And the, probably the best thing to do is not to get a rooster. But for us, and if you live in the country and you're looking to get a rooster, the second part to the answer of keeping roosters gentle is to let a hen raise your rooster. Let a bird in your own flock raise the rooster. Because if you raise the rooster in your house, because you bought it from a hatchery or from a feed store, you just raise them in your house in a brooder, that rooster is going to grow up thinking that you are part of the flock and they have to fight you to get to the top of the rank. And so if you let a hen go broody and raise your own rooster, whether you buy her a male chick or you buy her eggs to hatch on her own, if you let her do that, that rooster is going to grow up like Ronald here, if you can see him, thinking that humans are just another animal on the farm. All they do is bring him food. He doesn't have to fight them in the first place, and therefore you avoid a lot of issues. So there you go. That's the answer to that quick little question. I know if we had known that when we started getting roosters, we would it would have helped us a lot. So thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.